Hey everyone, I'm Avery Cavell, and it's my business partner, Justin Bozak, and we are excited to welcome you to our episode 10 of our American Dream Show with Remax Revolution. Today, we are going to give you a tour of Aria's latest project in Wall Township, Rolling Hills Estates, and we're also going to bring you through one of their models called the Ensor model. But first, we're going to give you a tour of this historic place called the Lair State Park that's just minutes from the new project. A Lair State Park is about 3,300 acres. And we're here in Alaire Village, which was founded early in the 1900s. They produced iron back in the day and shipped it all the way up to New York City. And it's a self-sustaining village where they had a bakery, a blacksmith, a foreman's office, pretty much everything you needed, including its own chapel. Alaire is also known for its Pine Creek Railroad. Founded back in 1952, the New Jersey Museum of Transportation's Pine Creek Railroad is one of the oldest narrow gauge railway exhibits in the country. Every weekend, you could take a ride for as low as $6. They run it every 30 minutes, and during the holidays, they have train rides with Santa. The Manasquan River actually feeds fresh water here, so there's opportunities for freshwater fishing. There's also over 200 species of unique plants, wildflowers, and trees as well. There's also the Edgar Felix Bike Trail, which takes you from the Alaire State Park here all the way down to Manasquan downtown. This state park truly offers so much. You can also do camping here, weddings, photography, or just come and take a stroll through Alaire State Village. All right, guys, next up, we're going a couple minutes away, just about three miles to Rolling Hills, our brand new subdivision. See you guys there. Right, guys we are now here off of holly boulevard in wall township right behind me brand new street rolling hills way where we're going to be doing 15 brand new homes the street has been in progress for now eight weeks the reason being there's a lot of elevation and height changes here uh, which is going to really make this a truly unique uh, property in wall township it's very scenic we've got a lot of wooded buffers behind it And this new community has lots ranging from 0.62 acres upwards to 2.6 acres. You have pricing starting at 1.2 million. Some of the cul-de-sac lots we have up at 2 million. There's three amazing models. We have the Wyndham, the Cambridge 3, and the Ensor. They range from 3,700 square feet to 5,500 square feet. All the homes have basements, five beds, three to four bathrooms, absolutely magnificent. All right, guys, we're gonna go over to the Enzer model, which the builder owns. All right, guys, so we are at our builder's home of Aria Properties. This is called the Ensor model. This is one of the premier models being built at Rolling Hills Way in Wall Township, and it is absolutely magnificent. Yeah, you're right. So we have five home sites that'll actually fit the Enzer model, and we have an Enzer A or an Enzer B. So you can customize kind of what you want to do as far as the layout goes. And you got about 4,500 to 5,500 square feet of just absolute pristine, top-notch finishes throughout this house. Uh, you have four or five bedrooms, depending on what floor plan you want to do, uh, and you have three and a half bathrooms. Uh, you've got wraparound porch and just a ton of nice features that you won't see in a normal new construction home, so. Yeah, guys, prices are ranging between 1.9 to 2 million, and uh, we're excited to give you a tour, and uh, let's go check it out. Hey, Justin. Hey. Hey. Come on in. How you doing? Good, Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Well, uh, Lauren, I appreciate you allowing us to tour your home. Uh, for our viewers, this is Lauren Plum. She's one of the owners of Aria Properties, and this is her personal home, the Ensor Model. So thank you, Lauren, uh, for allowing us to tour it. You're welcome, you're welcome. Have fun, enjoy. Yeah, can't wait to show everybody. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is one of my most favorite rooms of the Ensor model, this gourmet kitchen. Everything you've seen here is standard and fully customizable as well. You've got a 12 foot by six foot island with quartz tops. 
seating for five, porcelain sink, built-in dual drawer Fisher Paykel dishwasher, convection oven. You also have the GE Cafe Series appliance package, which includes a double wall oven, cooktop, and refrigerator. Beautiful tile backsplash, solid wood cabinets with under cabinet lighting and built-in lighting above. You've got the wet bar with the wine cooler, ice maker, and also the sink. Truly set up beautifully for entertainment. All right guys, we're in the great room and then also the family room. This house is just amazing. You've got 10 foot ceilings, they're coffered here. You've got some shiplap inlays, recessed lighting throughout, two 42 inch gas fireplaces with quartz surround, awesome oak hardwood floors, as well as a custom trim and the custom cabinetry here. It's nice and it's open to the kitchen and you've got grand views with the Anderson doors right off the back. All right, guys, we are in the owner's suite now. You've got hardwood floors here, high ceilings, you've got a ceiling fan, you've got two custom walk-in closets and an adjoining laundry room. The best part is you've got this awesome master bath. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we're in the owner's suite bathroom here. We've got an awesome soaking tub, We've got multiple windows here, all marble on the floor. You've got a huge double vanity, tons of counter space, as well as cabinet space, custom light fixtures, as well as custom mirrors. And over here, we've got a six foot shower, all encased in marble. You've got a rain shower, you've got a handheld body sprayer, and then you also have the water closet. But next, we're gonna take you to the second floor to check out the rest of this house. All right, guys, I'm on the second floor of the Ensor A model. Behind me, you got the loft area. And what's awesome about this is that you get this beautiful two-story floor that's completely open, brings in a lot of natural light, really just makes this area so expansive and open. You got four bedrooms, all with walk-in closets, two full baths. But what's great is on the Ensor B model, the master suite's on the second floor, and there's an area over the garage that gets finished for the walk-in closet that makes the square footage 5,500 square feet. Really awesome layout. Up next, guys, we're gonna go meet up with Justin and Lauren and check out that rear deck. guys so we're out back and the back of the house here is stunning I mean this is more fabulous than a lot of the front of most houses so you've got the Trex deck um, you've got some stone which gives it some more accent and you've got a large portion of this is actually covered so the vision behind this I mean what you guys are getting here you know there's gonna be five lucky people that buy this house it's actually a custom home built by the builder and for the builder so tell us about that Okay, it becomes one of those things you start off with a checklist and it's sort of kind of you go shopping and you say, okay, this is what I want on my checklist and this is what I want on my checklist and this is what I want. And you start going down through plans, many plans that you've designed before or worked with and you say, I want the bedroom downstairs. I want a big back porch. I want half of the porch covered. And you just start going through and little by little you start building a plan. You work with an architect and they make your thoughts buildable, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, absolutely. And then you end up with 5,000 square feet of <laughs> masterpiece, which is great. So thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. No problem, no this problem. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to building more of these. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. So we took a tour uh, of Wall Township and the new subdivision. 
And uh, we're hoping if you have any questions, you can give us a shout. That's it, guys. I mean, as you can see, you got the tour of this magnificent Ensor model, and we're excited to showcase this as part of Rolling Hills Estates in Wall Township. 15 homes, gonna be magnificent. As Justin mentioned, there's only five of these models being built there. So get in now, get your lot reserved, and let's customize this beauty for you. We got a special treat for you. We're going to be featuring Scarborough Fair Restaurant in Wall Township. It's actually located only five minutes from the new construction community by Ari Properties called Rolling Hills that we just showed you earlier. This restaurant has some incredible history. It actually started out as a farmhouse going back to the early 1800s. And when the Fotinos family bought it in 1980, they were committed to making sure it kept its original charm during its renovations. This resulted in a unique dining experience with the romantic ambiance from its rustic decor, its unique architecture, and of course, its mood lighting. So let's go check it out, meet up with the owners, and see what it's all about. So Mike, thanks for allowing us to feature the restaurant on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, so I understand this property has incredible history. So tell me a little bit about your vision on the renovations when you guys bought it back in 1980. and. And did you guys always think that you wanted to make this a restaurant at the time? My first uh, view of the restaurant was it was a operating uh, gift shop, okay. craft shop, known as Scarborough Fair Restaurant. The style of the building, as you see now, existed then, but prior to that, it was a farmhouse that was built in the late 1800s, about 1860s. It sits on five acre property and it was farmland. And the farmer that lived here was the Miller family. I know their daughter or granddaughter that comes here once in a while, great woman. Uh, then in uh, mid-70s, it was converted to, like I said, the building by Frank Merrill opened up Scarborough Fair Gifts. And when they were selling, which was probably uh, 1980, 81, in that period of time, I drove by here and I saw a clearance sign that they were selling their goods. And I'm into like collections of nice old antique nice. stuff. And I walked around to look for that and I said, wow, this is not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a building that could become a fantastic restaurant, you know? And my father, I come from a background, owned at the time five restaurants, both Monmouth County and up north. And uh, I pursued it, talking to dad kind of very carefully because his first answer was, well, we already have restaurants that you could run and operate. Do you need another one? I said, this is something special. And it did become something special. So we converted it in 83, we opened the doors. We're here almost 40 years. Uh, we started out with a a vegetarian culinary grad chef and a French classic chef. So we fused those two ideas together. A lot of people knew us as uh, organic food, vegetarian, vegan then in the 80s, and also gourmet. So we called ourselves International Gourmet Restaurant because we had a little flair of international cuisine. We kept that also till this day, but we added a lot of other flavors and styles of cooking. Many chefs have come and gone since then. My current chef, uh, JC Hernandez has been with me 22 years, so he's been wow. a long time. So the vision was, yes, to create a restaurant, even though my dad said we already have restaurants, and I did something different, a different direction. And we sell pretty much mostly local uh, produce and uh, in the summertime that we can get, local fisheries we support. We always target grass-fed or you know, organic food or meats, protein. And we try to make everyone's dietary needs, you know, fulfill whatever they want. That, that's fantastic. I mean, just hearing the multi-generational aspect between you and your dad and all, all these restaurants and convincing him to go with this vision. I mean, this restaurant... That was hard. <laughs> that was hard. But, but not, I mean, not it, too it came, hard. Out, it came out fantastic. When he said, you want it, I said, yes, then he said, okay. So do you guys hold any special events or do you guys have anything coming up that you'd like our viewers to know about? Well, we constantly do events during the year. We're in a program now to do four quarterly uh, wine dinners. We also have distillery. That did, and we pair it up with our foods. The chefs create something that goes accordingly, plus they cook with those items. Awesome. Uh, our current one is March 1st, I'm gonna say, okay, let's say. March 1st, which is J. Lore wine, wines with our dinner, which so we're gonna have. And further down, we're looking to do other dinners in addition to that. Also, we're thinking of doing uh, the Scarborough Fair Renaissance Day, which is 
something that was held in England. Very cool. Uh, in medieval days, and we just might do a celebration honoring that, and that's where the namesake comes from. Awesome. Scarborough Fair. Cool. We also do um, special things at the bar, bar nights and bar menus that are different, not just come in, you know, so we also do that. Eric, our bar manager, is the one who's in charge of all that. Yeah, okay. he's doing good. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're coming in here just after Valentine's Day, so it looks like you guys had a really yeah. busy night on Valentine's Day as well. Quite busy. <laughs> well, I was busy since Thursday, every night. All right. And so it just, just got said. busier, busier until last night was like crazy. And you said what? February is like the month of love, right? We call so it the month of love. Yeah, we open up the beginning with music, and entertainment, in the bar, and some you know, just fun stuff going on. And all month we celebrate, keep decorations all through the month, and then we're out to St. Patty's after that. You know. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I love the fact that you create an experience, you know, with the dining. I mean, that's why a lot of, a lot of people are, you know, targeting this place. It's fantastic. So, thankfully, it looks like COVID is in our rearview mirror. It's almost done, but obviously it's been a turbulent two years. How did you guys handle that? Well, as soon as the bad news came out, which was six weeks after we reopened, if I may say that we started a renovation project in the middle of the summer of 19, hoping the fall we would be ready, but it pushed a little further into 20 to 2020. So January 27th, we opened, great. Going into our month of love, February, and then right at the end, we get the news, March 17th, whatever the date was, around St. Patty's, that we're all, every, all restaurants are closing. Right. So we weren't prepared, but uh, being closed, you know, it was hard to get back, you know, after so many months of Closing now we have to close again. So we found a way. We don't do a lot of takeout, but we prepared ourselves. We hooked up with the local, uh, you know, the delivery companies. We did our own delivery system. Then we served outside when we were allowed to. We have a outdoor uh, fresco area. Plus we put up a tent, seats 80 people. So we got through it well. Most of our people were wonderful. They supported us. They supported us all these years throughout, and even throughout COVID, they came and they were so just generous to people. Very good. So we made it. We're here now. That's excellent. I mean, unfortunately, it, it shuttered a lot of restaurants, but just hearing how you guys yeah, were able totally to... totally shut, and that's sad. Right. Yeah, that's and, unfortunate. And you guys were able to adapt and pivot, you know, with those times. Uh, it, just, it goes to show that you guys are standing the test of time. So, yes. love to hear that. Yes. And I have to say, most of my staff, who I said, go out and find jobs for the p period of time, they're back again. I've had people here from 20, 25 years working for us, and they're still here. <sighs> And new ones too. They're not, they're not all old like me. <laughs> so now let me dive into one of my favorite parts, the menu. Um, was there any inspiration from some of your signature dishes that we're going to be talking about today? Yeah, we're going to try some dishes that we are known for uh, eclectic cuisine. Uh, we have great cuts of meats. Uh, grilled meats, of course, and fish. We use the fresh seafood and organic, but we're gonna use a Faroe Island uh, organic salmon today, which our chef creates, Mediterranean sides uh, that goes with the style when we were doing the international, and gluten-free, a lot of gluten-free oh, items, a lot. We have the best calamari in town, it's gluten-free. We have the crab cake, which is hard to make gluten-free, so we offer something that is usually not made gluten-free and we people we perfect it and people love it. And the chicken milanese because summer's coming around and I think it's a good seller too. So I'm inspired by those dishes, healthy, fresh ingredients, you know. I mean, they all sound fantastic. And I love the fact that you mentioned the gluten-free because I, I mean, I personally know a bunch of people that they, they go into restaurants and they're trying to find something that's gluten-free and the fact that you have those options and, and they sound delicious. So looking forward yeah. to seeing some of these right. options. Thank you. This looks amazing. Um, Thank you. Do you mind describing each dish and the preparation involved in it? Sure, in front of you, you have organic Faroe Island salmon with pistachio crusted, pan seared with forbidden rice, which is like a very dark, earthy, uh, very flavorful rice, braised endive, uh, cherry tomatoes, and this is like a, a brandy cream sauce that's served over it. 
um, like a little lemony also there. And this dish here is uh, thinly pounded Bell and Evans organic chicken breast, baby arugula, shaved Parmesan uh, cheese, red onion, and balsamic vinaigrette. Wow. So I think the last thing is who's hungry, right? <laughs> I mean, thanks again, Mike, for allowing us to tour this beautiful restaurant. It's truly it. incredible. Can't wait to try this food. Um, if you're looking to try something new, you definitely want to add this place to your list. They're located at 1414 Meeting House Road in Seeger, or you can go to their website at sfseeger.com. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time.